And well, hello, my friends, and welcome back to The Bench. Today we're going to be looking at Inspire Airbrush Paints. These are made by Custom Paints. That's the company. There's the website. Uh, I had a few of their paints in my inventory. By a few, I mean like three. Um, one of the sites I was ordering from years ago had a clearance, and they were in there. So I tried them, and... Um, well, I bought some, and I tried one. I remember liking it very much, but they were kind of hard to get here in America for a while, a uh, U.K. company. And then all of a sudden I find out they opened an office here in America in Florida. So uh, I wrote to them and asked them if I'd like to test a few, and they did. They sent me a little bit of everything, and uh, this is basically their whole lineup on the airbrush side. Inspire Airbrush. And... For this test, we're just going to single two out. I'm going to test their chrome and this candy gold. Now, the candy gold is what started off the down the path of finding this company in Florida. I bought this. I saw it on eBay. And candy gold, because I'm looking for that shiny, you know, chrome gold effect. So this showed up, uh, I think, Monday or last Saturday, and I sprayed it, and I liked it. And then I realized in the letter. It came from them, I believe, and then I had, uh, that's when I found out they're in Florida. And I ordered, I asked them if I can test some. They sent me this. Now, this is all we're going to be testing, but let's go over what they did send me. White base, a black base, a uh, coarse metallic silver base. Hold on, let's get the camera. Look at that. That's really coarse. Uh, dark gold. Oh, you can't really see it there. There it is base shadow chrome now it says chrome i'm not going to be testing this because this basically looks like a polished aluminum or a, like a steel it's not really uh chrome like this is a chrome so this will be in a separate test then they had they sent me a couple of candies candy blue candy red candy concentrate black this is the one that i had for a long time the bottle's all sunken in you can see it but uh i haven't even i've never even tried this and uh, I've had that a while. This was probably when it was overseas, if uh, I am not mistaken. These are 100 milliliter. These are pretty big bottles. There you go. Oh, that's what we're testing. And they have a military lineup. Check this out. Ghost Gray, Battleship Gray, Military Jungle, and Sand Dune. That's pretty cool. All right, let's get these out of the way. We pause the camera, guys, and push these out of the way because we're going to just work on these two and one more. I will show you that in a second. All right, we cleared the field here. Um, these are the two we're going to be testing. Chrome, we'll do that first, and then Candy Gold. We're going to try the Candy Gold over the Chrome and then a few other uh, bases I have prepared. And also, in my old inventory, I told you I bought a couple a while ago when I first uh, saw these paints. But this is their H2O line. This is their uh, acrylic line. And it's transparent gold. So, at the end of the test, we'll try this too. Um, the bottles are much smaller. And they have a squeeze bottle that actually works pretty good compared to these flip caps. Always seem to make a mess for me. So I just will pull them off and use the old, uh, let me reach for one here. Use the old pipette. So, um... I already sprayed some of their dark gold, uh, yeah, dark gold metallic. Here it is over black and white. It's a very heavy metallic, as you can see. Here is the silver. I mean, uh, yeah, here's the silver. Coarse metallic, obviously. You'll see how coarse that is. So we'll see how the gold looks over that, too. And I sprayed some of their black base. Came out very nice. And um, let me get these over here. So I also sprayed for the chrome. We're going to use this just for the chrome. Oh, self promotion here. Um, my Mecha Empire 2K Gloss Black. Uh, this is my acrylic urethane 2K. And it has the hardener, I think. Yep. And there's the hardener that goes with it. It's a four to one. This, oops, look out. This just came back in stock along with my polished alloy, which is now back in stock at Gundam Pros. 
in my 2K, oops, Gloss Clear, which just came back in also. And I uh, have an inventory of Satin Clear. So these are all back in stock. But here is my 2K Black. And um, this is theirs. So we can get it to focus in a little bit. So there you go. So you can see the difference. Not quite as leveled and flat and, and smooth, I should say, not flat, as the 2K, which are these two here. So there you go. So these are beautiful for a chrome base. Absolutely essential for any of the all clads or any of that stuff. Um, the metal colors that require a super smooth, shiny base. So that's why I went ahead and sprayed a few uh, of my 2K bla oh, gloss black. And uh, we're going to use that to start with on the chrome. And uh, these are pre-thinned. So we're going to go ahead. Oh, look at that. And uh, let's go spray this. There's a lot in here. I think the cost is close to 30 bucks, but there's a lot more in here compared to uh, other jars that are out there for sale. And then once we get this done, we're going to go ahead and put down some candy gold and see what kind of a nice effect we get. We're trying to look for that nice candy gold effect. Gold chrome, I should say. Uh, here's some of the stuff we're going to spray it over. I got these gilding paints. This is one's copper and one is gold. We're going to paint it over a bunch of uh, jump wins. Oops, champagne gold. So I will show you those when we're ready to paint the. Uh, is Vallejo the, when we go to paint the uh, candy gold? Well, I'm going to show you all the different colors. Uh, we're going to see how it looks over. And uh, but first, let's go ahead and hit up with the chrome. I'll be using my, uh, let me grab it here. I'll be using my GSI Creos, my 289 with a 0.3 millimeter needle for the chrome and uh, probably for the candy too. So uh, this will be the, oops, there we go. This will be the airbrush we will be testing with. All right. All right, guys, let's head over to the booth and uh, let's see how this chrome looks. All right, my friends, here we are at the Pace Spray Booth. Uh, I shook it up. Make sure you shake it so you can see it twinkling there at the bottom, so to speak. See it? So you can see the water level. That means nothing is settled on the bottom, no sediment there. And uh, we are loaded up. I am at 20 or 22 PSI. The company calls for uh, a lot of air, very little paint. So we're going to have it at 20 PSI. I'm going to pull back very slightly. And uh, you can, it says, uh, you can buff it off between coats, wait a few minutes. And then um, get some deeper details too. You can rub it off when you're completely done with a wet, lint-free cloth to get a nice uh, dust-free finish. All the details are on the website. This is my uh, 2K black. I'm painting it over. Something to come in now looks pretty good. I like it. Looks good. They recommend a 2K gloss over it after it sits for quite a while. Um, that's a test coming up. I'm going to use my 2K gloss that I just released, and I'm going to paint one of every uh, chrome that I have here. And I'm going to see. How it looks over all of them so we'll save the 2k gloss over chrome test in a separate test but that is coming up soon within a month there we go not bad huh not bad at all it probably dries pretty quickly let's go ahead and see i'll grab another spoon here with my 2k gloss black on it i'm gonna go a little heavier just as an experiment to see how it comes out Curious when I use spray everything differently, how it reacts, how it performs. It's going on pretty nice like this. I'm about three inches away, just starting to pull the trigger back here, the needle back. You can hear the compressor coming on. That's the Tootie compressor. It goes on good this way too, just laying it on quick. Look at that. All right, let's go back to the first spoon. 
All right, I think, yeah, I'm gonna rub this off on my shirt. I got a super soft cotton shirt on. Yeah, it looks great, it looks good. This is probably Primo right here. We're probably right where it should be. It doesn't have that mega high gloss chrome look that the Ravel spray can and the green stuff world seem to produce, but I have uh, a feeling this is going to be a much durable paint, which is what you guys are looking for. It's why I made the uh, polished alloy. It looks good, though. In my brand, in, it's not quite chrome, but it's super durable. It's like a regular paint, so you don't have to worry about uh, handling it and flaking off. Yeah, this goes on great. It's pretty, uh, pretty foolproof. It went on pretty nice. Really nice. I like it. it doesn't have that fake uh, plasticky chrome look that some of these have. So we'll let that go. Where's the other one I did? Right here. They both look terrific. All right. Let me turn this. Pause this camera. Let me clean out the airbrush. We're going to clean out with lacquer thinner. And, um, yeah, we're going to move on. We're going to put some, uh, let this dry. We're going to put some gold uh, over it. And then we're going to put gold over a bunch of colors. I'll show you the colors as I go along. And hopefully we get a nice looking gold chrome look. Fingers are crossed on that. And, uh, but hey, we shall see. I'll see you back here in just a second. All right, guys, uh, chrome is drying. I got one that is all dry right here. And uh, this is what we'll use to put the gold over. And uh, I noticed something on the candy gold, and that is, I guess the candy colors all have this cap, even if it's the acrylic or the solvent. So that's pretty cool. These caps work a little better than those. I'm going to put a lot in here. Than those other ones are. Uh, those flip top ones drive me nuts. They seem to spill quite a bit. It's not the company. I'm not ragging on them. It's just the type of bottle that almost everybody uses. So it's not them. All right. Here we go. Here we are. All right. You know what? Let's go ahead and try it over chrome. We'll do that first. This is their chrome. Here we go. Getting a little shade of chrome there already. I mean, a little shade of gold. I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. Not quite shiny enough for me, but I guess we can put a 2K over that when we're done. I didn't go in for the close and the wet coat, so let's go ahead and do that. There we go. How's that? Now we're talking. Well, let's open up this valve a little bit, this MAC valve. Yeah, I like what I'm seeing here. I probably could have used a bigger needle for this to get a more wet look. But I'm piling it on just so I can get a nice deep gold look here. There we go. What do you think, guys? Not bad. All right. Now, let's try it over their silver base. This is that coarse silver that they have I showed you on the bench. Yeah, I figured that would show through like that. More of a hot rod look. I always call it that hot rod look. I think we can do better with a uh, bigger needle. After this, I'm going to change airbrushes, guys. I'm going to go to uh, a 0.5. But yeah, this definitely has its own look that... I call it the hot rod look. Not quite else how to explain it. I grew up around custom cars. My whole family was into that stuff. Car shows, everything. I've seen it all. But 
Yeah, it's a much different look than what I'm looking for. All right, I'm going to take this out of here. I'm going to put it in a bigger needle. Um, maybe my Patriot or something. I have 80 airbrushes here. Let me pick a bigger needle. Let me get my uh, gallery. That's been performing really good. And uh, we'll see the difference with a bigger needle. All right, guys, I switched up to my gallery, the hand grip one. So let's see what we get here. This is their silver over white. The problem with this is I think I'm going to get the same. Yeah, I'm going to get that same heavy, grainy uh, look, which is a look some people love. And it, it's four cars, you know. I had doom buggies, I guess you call them when I was growing up. Definitely has a nice look, though. Wow. All right, we're going to... Hold on, guys. Let me go grab that bin of spoons with all the different colors, and we're going to go through some of those. All right, I got a basket full of all kinds of golds and silver. So let's see what we can get this thing to look like. This is, what is this, Moto MX-05. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Oh, yeah. The airbrush is great for this. Look at that. All right. Now we're on to something. Let's try it over this. What is this? Vallejo Metal White Aluminum. I don't know if it'll go over the acrylic. Let's see if it affects the acrylic or not. This has been drying for about two years. I've had this spoon for about two years. I keep all of my spoons that I've tested. And it doesn't like this aluminum too much. It doesn't have a great look. So we'll stop right there. Not bad. It's just pale yellow. It's ugly. That ain't good. All right. Let's try something else in here. What is this one? All clad polished brass. Look at that. Let's see how it looks over this. Oh, nice. It looks great over this. Oh, it's eating into it. Can you see it? Damn, it looked great, too. That's why I'm trying it over all these different paints. To see what we get. SMS Brass plus 2K on top. This ain't going to change much. It looks like it's already been candy gold already yeah, that's pretty nice almost turns into orange wow that's really nice all right trying to pick all these different brands here is that gilding paint liquid leaf so let's see what it does on top of that this looks like it's the copper one Yeah, it looks pretty nice. That looks really nice. Look at that. All right. I'm piling up spoons here. Let me get the other one, the gilding paint. Here it is, Craft Smart Gilding Paint. This is the gold. All right, I'm going to go a little slower here. Get that wet shine look. This actually looks pretty good. Now we're starting to get the idea. It's starting to not change too much depending on what it goes on top of here. All right, this is EX, oh, this is a Jump Wind. Jump wind. Looks like it's reacting to this one. 
boy, you got to stay within its own brand, it looks like. But it's working on a lot of these. But uh, it seems to like its own... Uh, it's like to stay within its own family, we will say. But uh, I think we got enough results here. A little, uh, I mean, we'll wrap this up and uh, meet you back at the bench. We'll go over the chrome and what this gold chrome, uh, candy cold gold looks like. Uh, we'll see you back at the bench. Okay, my friends, here we are back at the bench. And uh, let's go over the results. Now, this is over bare plastic, the chrome. I did this just before starting the video. And this is over the 2K gloss. You get two shades. You can see it from here. And I guess it's how it reacted to the plastic versus how it reacted to going over a 2K clear, a 2K gloss rather. So there you go. So I don't know how I got these results just over plastic. I put Inspire on it so I know what it was, the Inspire Chrome. This is over my 2K black. I'm a fan of the darker one. It's just it's just a preference. If you see it in person, it actually looks more realistic. Let me show you what my gloss black 2K looks like. Raw. There we go. Yep. So this one is the chrome on top of this 2K black. Very nice. It's a good chrome. It's a good chrome. This is it over the plastic. I guess if you have a black plastic kit. Um, let me show you the spoon raw. Hold on one second. There we go. These are the spoons I get on Amazon. See it? So it is a black, smooth. So I'm guessing it didn't absorb into that where it absorbs a little bit into the black. But I do like the two looks. You know, I do like a, a, a black chrome, which is that. But like I said, you got to see it in person to understand the difference. But it's a good chrome. It came out really nice. I have nothing uh, nothing uh, bad to say about it. It's excellent. Uh, value for dollar. I know it's about 30 bucks, but you get a lot in here for sure. And now the gold sprayed over the chrome. It's the best of all of it. I tried to spray it over all different stuff. I'll show you in a second. But here is candy gold sprayed over their chrome. And this is about... This is it. This is the gold chrome we're all looking for. All right, it's sprayed over that. So that is, this is it. This is the gold we're looking for. This is gold chrome right there. Um, it likes to stay within its own family, meaning I tried to spray it over all clad. It peeled it up. I'm not quite sure what this is. I thought it was a urethane. Um... If you guys know exactly what type of paint this is, it didn't seem to like certain colors. It seemed to eat right through them right away. Now here is the acrylic. I sprayed this off camera. This is the acrylic transparent gold. Not quite the same. Hold on, let me get it so you guys can see it. See it? It's a whole different look. It looks more like the candy yellow that I did in my test when I tested Tamiya paints. That's what it looks like to me. This is gold chrome. And here it is over there. It's a silver base, I think I put this over. Yeah, and it had to be thinned a little bit too. But it's not the same. It's uh it's like transparent yellow. It's like clear yellow. I think it is. That's my opinion. This is what you want. This is it. Candy Gold Inspire Airbrush Paint, the solvent base over there, chrome. This is what you guys are gonna get. All right, I'll show you some of the other ones now, but uh, personally, that's the one. <laughs> Hold on, let me grab them. They're right behind me. All right, now, here we go. This is the only one it, it seemed to attack. A couple others over there. I didn't. I forgot to grab them. See, it? it's, it's already dried. This is the all-clad polished brass, so it really did not like that. This is trash. Hold on. In the trash. Um, yeah, but everything else, I'll pull them forward here. Everything else does not quite come to what I was hoping for and has a real deep chrome gold which I only got over that so here it is over the liquid leaf let me grab that liquid leaf copper oh classic gold liquid leaf classic gold All right, and that's that not bad 
This is it over Moto MX-5. Nothing special. Just looks like gold at that point. Uh, SMS brass with Tamiya as a base and 2K on top of it. So I had a 2K gloss. But again, it looks like that hot rod flake. This is over their base. Their silver heavy... Uh, what is it called? Hold on. It's right here. It's coarse. Silver coarse. And that's what you get with that. What do we have here? Here's the gilding paint. Where is that? Right here. Craft Smart gilding paint. All right. What color is that? Brass. It's over brass. Again, it just looks like... Get this focusing for you guys. It ends up looking like just a regular gold you would take out of a jar. This is over Jump Wind. Wasn't crazy about Jump Wind. It kind of reacted there, but still nothing great. This is over there gold, I think. And it comes to that hot rod look. So, this is the look over there chrome. So their chrome is good and the candy gold is good. These are the two I love as I knock over my uh, airbrush line here. There we go. So there you go. There's the chrome and gold chrome. You buy these two, you get what you're looking for. You're getting a nice chrome and you're getting a beautiful gold chrome. So I think I finally found gold chrome and it's right there. So, a successful test because I was looking for good gold chrome and I got it and that is it. Uh, wonderful spraying chrome through this airbrush. I love it through the GSI. It's currently sitting at still 80 bucks on Amazon. I'll put a link below. I use this thing every day, uh, particularly for chrome. 80 bucks is a must own. Now, the unsung hero here. At under 70 bucks, this thing is a beautiful workhorse. I love it. Um, it sprays everything. It's comfortable. And um, I recommend this too. I'll put a link below for that also. Uh, I recommend my 2K line, which is now back in stock. The gloss, the black, oops, 2K gloss black for the chrome. And uh, my polished alloy is back in. These sold out in five minutes when they first came out. And now they're back in stock. I think there's 40-something bottles there. Well, as of yesterday, who knows what's there now. So please head in and grab that. I think... A sample of the polished alloy. Yep, here it is. That's my polished alloy. That's a light coat and a dark coat. But uh, the draw on my polished alloy is it's unbelievably durable. It's not going to mark. It's just like painting a, a almost like a primer. So grab that uh, while it's still in stock. Uh, and that's it. All right, that is the test today. Uh, I'm very happy with the chrome and I'm very happy with the gold chrome result that I've been looking for. Fantastic. I will have another video up tomorrow as I'm trying to get caught up. I got a tips and tools video coming up. I have a master airbrush that just showed up. I want to test. It's a side feed. And this thing came like a truck ran it over in the package. I sent it in a plastic envelope. And I didn't want to tell you what... Well, you saw the pictures if you guys check out my channel. <laughs> this was a mess. But it's a side feed airbrush. And I'm going to go through a few of those uh, as I'm curious to see how they perform. I do like my spastic... My spaz... My Sparmax side feed airbrush i like it quite a bit actually so i got a bunch of different side feeds i'll be testing soon i got an awesome giveaway probably tomorrow it's going to be a mixer a, tor a typhoon mixer from typhoon racks that big metal industrial one um be there for that i'm not going to post anywhere that there's a giveaway you guys are gonna have to watch the video to uh qualify for that and um that's it i have more info for you guys tomorrow and what's going on here at the channel i just got in my dots and kit look at that a 280Z. I am all excited. Uh, it's a new tool. I'm not crazy about AMT models, but I am crazy about Z kits, so I added it to the collection. That's why it's on the desk. I had just got it in and I put it down, and uh, there it sits. Let me put the camera back here. Oh, well, guys, have a great rest of your weekend. I will see you in another day, which will be tomorrow, Sunday. It is currently Saturday afternoon for my next video. Hopefully, it's a tools and tips. I got a bunch of nice stuff lined up for you guys, and like I said, an unbelievable, unbelievable giveaway. For a hundred dollar paint mixer that uh, you guys don't want to miss that anyway guys you guys are absolutely the best join my patreon i'll put a link below uh we go back and forth i answer your questions directly through patreon whether video or just chatting so if you ever have little paint questions that can't be answered here that's your place to go it's only four bucks a month it supports the channel helps, it lets me buy all these little things so i can test and uh, you guys are the best anyway god bless you guys have a great rest of your weekend We'll see you in the next video.